so excited. I don't think I've ever shown the puppies in the vlog. This is Hugo, and that's Nova, and we're going to the dog park, and they know, so they're excited. Okay, okay. I expected Hugo to be more for fetch than Nova. I mean, she doesn't really, f well, she, nah, does she fetch? She goes and grabs it and puts it in her mouth and doesn't bring it back. I don't know if that counts as fetch. Nova? Nova? She's fast. And then we got Hughes. He's just happy to be here. Oh, she actually brought it back this time. Kind of. Well, I'm a little overwhelmed with how much stuff I need to do for camping. <laughs> to pack and get ready and taking more electronics than I thought. Just because, like, I need, like, a... Uh, a power bank and certain cords and whatever else because of the GoPro. I want to I want to film these trails that I'm going to go on. So I need I need yeah, I need power for that. I need battery stuff. Um I don't know how service will be out there, but I mean I also need my phone out there so I can figure out the trail. I don't want to get lost, whatever. I've never been there before. Anyway, and like light, <laughs> light, so I don't, I obviously don't want candles in the tent and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm just like prepping for that and it is overwhelming. And then I thought, I hate that I feel this way, but like I was talking to someone just like, I don't know, sometime in the past week about how, um, wearing nail polish and stuff like that makes me a target of homophobia, even though I'm straight. Uh, but just the way that I dress or express myself, whether your jewelry or nail polish or whatever, that uh, some people just, like, assume, and if they don't like that thing, then I have definitely had slurs thrown at me and some discrimination, I'm sure. And I was thinking, like, I'm going to be camping. I'm going to be camping alone. And so these have to go. Um, and I'm taking off, like, my, my nail polish right now on my hands, because I was just like, man, I'm gonna be wearing flip-flops and whatever, and it's just like, I don't need, if I wasn't gonna be alone, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't matter as much, but I'm like, man, I'm already, like, kind of paranoid about, like, sleeping out there alone, being out there alone, I think it'll be really good for me, I think it'll be fun, I think it'll be a good, just, time for me, but... I'm already paranoid, and I'm already weird about it, and so it's like, ugh, like, I just don't want this extra thing of, like, me feeling like a target, because I don't know who I'm going to see there, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, unfortunately, it's something that I've already had negative experiences with, and I have to think about, and I don't like that I have to think about it, but that's the world we live in, you know? Another day at the dog park. See, oh, wow. Dare. Deer. Goodbye, deer. What I was gonna say is, Hugo's not super lazy. You're just gonna find the right toy for him, and then he'll fetch it. Good boy, Hugo. Cuties. Well, we are on the road. I uh, left an hour later than I wanted to. But, uh, that's what happens. <clears throat> um, I bought some bear spray, decided my life was worth about 50 bucks, so I decided to do it. I didn't realize until last night that I'm going to be in, like, some bear country, so that I kind of was, like, really paranoid and, like, oh no, what do I do? And so <laughs> I looked up some pamphlets that were on, like, the Alberta Parks website and, like, what to do if you see bears and like in, if you are interacting with bears what not to do so I read up on that and uh, that'll probably I'll go out the window if I'm close enough to a bear I'll probably just forget everything and like poop my pants or something so that'll be fun um, but yeah went and bought some bear spray this morning other than that I think I got everything I hope so I mean probably forgot something but I don't know what yet I won't find out till I get there um, the crappy thing about this site is that check-in isn't until 4 oh there it is 
probably can't see it. It's too far away for the GoPro. There's this like weird, I always say that I want to like stop and like get footage of it and take a picture of it or something, but yeah, I never do. I should. One day I should pull over, take a picture with my friend Loch Ness Monster over there. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> um, what was I saying? Four o'clock. Check-in is at four o'clock. So I'd rather get there early and leave early, like check out is two o'clock and I'm like, but that day's ruined. Like that day is just me being like, gotta leave soon. And then like packing my stuff up and getting out of there, right? So uh, yeah, it feels a little bit uh, like I'm technically there two nights, but it doesn't feel like, I mean, I get one full day, you know? If I got there in the morning, I would feel like I had two full days. Anyway, it's 10.30 in the morning right now, and uh, I am going to do some riding before I get there. Um, weather forecast is not super great, not in my favor. Uh, there's going to be thunderstorm this afternoon. So, that's no good, because um, it'll probably happen before or during the time I want to set up my camp. Also, as you can see, car is packed pretty tight um, and I'm gonna have to like unpack a bunch of stuff just to get my bike out so and then like back in and there's, it's gonna be a whole thing but I mean I don't know that's that's why I want you know a different vehicle for my lifestyle I've been saying that for a while like a Jeep Cherokee or something it's a little roomier I mean have room for paintings as well uh, because sometimes I can't fit them in here but then bike stuff and whatever it'll just be a lot nicer to have a roomier vehicle but I fit it all in here, you know? I got it all, I think, and uh, I'm gonna go have a time, and we'll see what happens. Well, this is me. I could set up right now, and then go for a bike ride. I think I'll do that. Uh, I was gonna ride first, but I'm like way far away, and these people have left already, so... I got lucky, I guess. Well, Storm's brewing. I heard thunder for the last like 45 minutes, pretty much right after I got here. Um, tent is set up. The bed is inflated and takes up almost the whole damn tent. But uh, I think I got enough room to figure it out. It'll be okay. And yeah, now I'm gonna go find trails and hope I can ride them. That's, that's what I'm doing now. Wild cows, I guess. Well, I made it to the trail, or the start of the trail system. Nothing saying I can't park here. It just says, like, don't go in there with the vehicle, which I don't plan on it. Not a motorized one, anyway. Uh, I'm kind of paranoid to leave my car here, but I also don't see anything. Well, I don't have access to Google Maps right now, but Trail Forks is working. And, uh, yeah, I don't see anything that, uh, I don't know where I could park. I don't know anything soon where I could park. Anyway, um, yeah, here's a butterfly. Look at that pretty little blue butterfly. I'm gonna get ready to ride. Well, I'm ready. Carbondale River trail I think is there's Carbondale River something or other it's a blue but I'm trying to do a loop that's a blue to green to green to green to blue to back to the same blue I think um, so yeah I was trying to do that loop and then tomorrow uh, weather depending I'm hoping just to do the whole blue and back um, I'm a little freaked out because of bear stuff and being out here uh, that's the other thing I need to say so I'm, I'm like Castle Rock Provincial Park uh, bear country and I didn't realize that till last night, so 
I was like, is my life worth $50? Should I go buy some bear mace or bear repellent? Uh, I did. But more effective than bear bells is just, like, yelling, apparently. Just, like, every once in a while in the video, you might just hear me go, eh, or something around blind corners or whatever. <sighs> anyway, let's get it. I guess I'm gonna head back over there, whip out the phone again, check things out. Uh, and I'm much too paranoid. I know there's those holders you can get here, but I'm much too paranoid to use one of those. Um, it would be nice for times like this, but this is also why I plan on riding again tomorrow and the next day after that. sure I keep trucking that way. Maybe this right is the blue. Let's see. I already passed my right turn for the blue. I'm not sure how that works, but we'll see. Yeah. Oh, there's deer. Whoa. Oh man, that was a big rock I almost ran right into. Holy smokes. Whew. Getting paranoid out here. Oh, I saw a burr. That was fun. That was a fun little section. Fork in the road, what do I do? Well, apparently I keep trucking up. There's no trail that it shows going that way. So I don't know what that is, but apparently it's not for me. Or it's just so cool, they didn't put on trail forks so no one else could ride it. Which I doubt for this area. I don't know what's there. I don't feel like exploring it either though. <clears throat> well, I got the battery pack on here because my battery died, and uh, I'm not even halfway done yet, so this is longer than I thought. I don't, I thought I checked the kilometers before, and I guess I didn't, so that's my bad. Um, <laughs> like I said, not even halfway done. My calves are on the edge of cramping. But I just took a little break just to set up the battery. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that when I turn a corner here, which will be soon, that the rest will kind of be downhill, but I just have no idea. Um, and I'm coming back on a blue, and I don't know if it's going to be like... The starting point is really what it should have been, or what? Oh, I also should have put on fresh bug spray before I came out here. Because if I take a break, it's just like a feeding frenzy on me. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what happens.
Yeah. Look like bear tracks to me. Yikes. Big bear. I got a fork in the road here and I'm already I'm already not where I'm supposed to be. Oh man. Like going right is what I want to do because I'm hopefully going to come back over here but I just don't know oh man like part of me feels like I should go back the way I came I'm so confused. I guess I'm gonna go up and to the right. Frick, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this could swing right too, for all I know. Well, folks. I officially have to go back the way I came or try that other like what is that that's another trail right there like but that just gets me even further away I gotta go back the way I came this is beautiful though There's a jug of something. I don't like the looks of that. I don't like human litter out here because that would attract bears. I mean, I don't like human litter at all in nature or the city or wherever anyway, but that I really don't like. So I have I climbed so much that at least now I know I have an exciting downhill portion. And by exciting, I hope that doesn't mean I'm going to get wrecked. But like, I'm just pulling up my pad here. My left knee pad keeps sliding down. Um, yeah. May as well pull up the right one too while we're at it. I like, I don't know, I know there's a lot of downhill ahead of me, which is nice. Because I'm so sick of walking my bike up and climbing and climbing and climbing. So, let's see what is in store for us. To be honest, I am relieved that I kind of came to a dead end there. Like if it was another right turn, I would have taken it. But because it's like a hairpin left, I'm just getting further and further away from the trail I'm supposed to be on. It said that there was great like visibility of the trail and I, I disagree. I think I know where I went wrong, but when I looked at trail forks, it didn't say I was off track. Like anyway. Anyway.
crap. Whew. Almost took a little spill there. Ah, no. Uh, whew. Well, got to get off my bike right now to go up that thing anyway. Oh. Yeah. 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 Wrong line. Ah, oh, man. Whoo! Holy smokes. Yeah. This is where I was supposed to turn, I think. Got mud in my eye. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Oh. Whoo. Where am I? Well, I'm where I'm supposed to be. been a couple hours and I'm about halfway now. I think if I had taken the right way to begin with, I'd be back by now. Yeah.
Oh shit, that hurt. Freaking beautiful, but now what? My feet are soaked. Um, oh, there's mud on my GoPro. My feet are soaked, and uh, there didn't really seem to be an easy way to cross the stream without without that happening. Uh, it appears that I'm on the right path, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Dude, how do I know which way to go? I think that way. <clears throat> I have to lay down. I'm exhausted. I thought that I looked at the kilometers originally of each trail, and I must have been wrong, either by what I f saw that wasn't concerning, so I never looked again, or I just didn't look and I thought I did. But I've bitten off more than I can chew. It obviously didn't help that I like went way off track and did a lot of climbing in the wrong direction that I didn't have to do. I'm over halfway, but I'm so exhausted and I just like can't take much more climbing. I'm tired of walking and hiking my bike up. I'm tired of climbing with my bike. And you can't really stop to take a break for long because all the flies and mosquitoes. But I just had to, I'm just exhausted. Like if I were able to take like a proper like 15 minute break or something, maybe 
I would recharge a bit. I haven't run out of water. I've got plenty of water. But, man, this is something else. Oh. <sighs>